me take this beautiful car back. I never want to because it drives so well. Kathy's going to meet me up there in a little bit, but I'm going to be shooting some stuff for right now. I'm just going to enjoy this incredible drive. Today is a spectacular day here in the booth. Just arrived at the Murphy. Nobody here, place is still closed. David's not even here yet, but uh, I have kind of an agenda. I uh, enjoyed driving the 38 Ford, incredible car. That's gonna be one of the featured cars at the Ford show tomorrow. But today, I'm here to dissect a couple of cars. Not that one, this one, and that one back there. This is the 1966 Batmobile from the TV series. Yes, the original one. And I think I need to give you guys a closer look on this thing. That's a nice shot right there. This is a nice shot right here. But I think we need to get a little closer. Yeah, we need to get inside this puppy. Most people have seen this car uh, fairly up close, behind stanchions, behind cones, things like that. Maybe driving by on the freeway, maybe it's been trailered somewhere. But very few times do you actually get to sit in it and dissect it from the inside. See it up close and personal. But before we get into the, the inside stuff, let's start on the outside. Because the inside there's a lot of detail, a lot of stuff going on. But the outside there's some cool stuff too. Let's go check that out. Let's start with the front of the car. Now, you may remember from the TV series, obviously the car was black. It had uh, the pinstriping, which is nice and thick. But since I was about one year old when this thing came out, I couldn't tell you whether the pinstripe was actually red or orange. It's orange here, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter that, you know, what was original, what wasn't. This thing is cool. This is the original car. It has been redone and people just love it. But unless you get up close and personal, you may miss a few things like these. Turn signal lights, pretty cool. In the center, you may remember from the Corgi toy, this thing would fold out and there'd be a saw blade that would come out of it. Not so much in this car. But one thing interesting about the front of this car are these little things. Sprinkler heads. Now pretty much all of you know that the basis for this car was the Lincoln Futura concept car. But there's really not any of that in this car at this point. are pretty cool too. Standard regular mag type wheel, except this thing, it doesn't rotate. It stays just the way it is. Here's the custom Barris badge, along with a Hot Wheels sticker that definitely wasn't original. But the badge is pretty cool. Let's look at that up close. No mirrors on this car because it's got a screen on the inside. I'm not sure it's as effective as, you know, the screens of new cars nowadays, but who cares? What's behind you? Doesn't matter. The rear is interesting also. It has the same kind of mesh as up in the front that they use for the lights, but it's got this thing. I, I'm not sure what this is called, but it's kind of like a, a pipe cap. And of course, it has parachutes like Ken's Porsche, although in this car, there's two of them, one here and one over here. And of course the flame comes out of here. Not a place I want to be when it's driving. I have no 
idea what this thing is. It's kind of just a thing. There's the rocket launchers, which are basically pipes off the tail end of a car. Antenna of some sort. Doesn't really do much. Of course, the bat lights across the top, which do light up. It's kind of cool. Not much functionality to them, but it does look nice. Of course, the glass canopy in the back and in the front. And as cool as the outside is, the inside is much cooler. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Let's start with taking a look around. This is the compass up front. Driver's perspective. Steering wheel. center we got a few of these anti-theft activity buttons actually they're just lights console has a screen otherwise known as the bat scanner some gauges down below and a few of these guys Works pretty good. Obviously, this extinguisher would be used to extinguish other people's cars. On the passenger side, where Robin would sit, the seat is up a little bit higher, I guess because he's a little bit shorter. He also gets to play with the stereo. and the bat radar. So there you have it, the 1966 Batmobile on display here at the Murphy Museum. Not much longer, car's gonna be leaving soon. But it's not a bad example for what you can build in three weeks back in 1966. Just came out to see if Kathy's here. And she is, she's driving right over there. Coming this way. some fantastic sandwiches to which we're gonna go to the beach and chow down for a bit. Yeah. As long as that's okay with these guys. <laughs> Thank you.
and if today wasn't interesting enough, something just showed up. This is the Ellen DeGeneres Christmas mascot for last year. They just sent it to Kathy because they want a whole new mascot. What it is, I, I have no idea. We haven't even heard yet. But you guys will get a chance to watch us build something. We can't reveal what it is until the show airs. But I can safely say that not many people have a reindeer in their living room. 